Good evening everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening devotion and we call it TED. So before we worship God, I know some of us busy tayo the whole day, nanggaling tayo sa work, maybe some of us nasa bahay lang tayo. But this time, when we worship God, pwede ba natin tanihin sa sarili natin, bakit ba tayo nagpupulit, nagpapasalamat sa ating Diyos? You know what, church? We worship God for who He is. He is God. And in, uh, in the midst of our problems, of our struggles today, we remember God. We remember His goodness, His love, His favor. So there's a lot of reasons why we worship God. The God of the universe, the God of all creation deserves our worship. So why don't we do this today? Let's focus ourselves to God. You know, remember, ano ba dapat may pagpasalamat sa Panginoon ngayong araw na ito? And when we look to God's goodness, faithfulness, we are in total awe of who He is. And I believe in, and, I, and my prayer is that as we worship God today, we will encounter Him in a deeper way. Come on, church. Let's worship God together today. From the beginning, you have proven true. Moving over the waters, creating something new. Just by your breath, you have opened eyes. And all of creation filled by you.
serve the highest praises from your people. Lord, maraming marami pong salamat for this opportunity that we worship you once again because you deserve the highest honor and adoration from your people. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jerome, one of your pastors here in Victory Castle Avenue. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited because this is the first time na mag-exert po at mag-share po ako sa inyo about our um, uh, TED. We call it Tuesday Evening Devotion. So, tag nyo naman po, invite your family and friends as we set aside this time. I know hindi ito service na matagal, may kilang po ito, less than 30 minutes, but I pray that marami po tayong ma- uh, may invite na tao. May invite natin kaibigan, family, relatives nyo, office mates as we listen to the Word of God. So, for the past weeks, we are talking about God and we are all know that um, when we get to know Jesus, when, when, when we get to know God in a different angles, different perspective, we will get a deeper relationship and deeper meaning. Kung sino ba talaga si Lord sa buhay natin? Um, natutunan natin that um, God's promises sa ating pong first Tuesday evening devotion. Then last week, we were encouraged to love God. So tonight, as we know God, we will encounter His holiness and sanctification. But let me define, ano po ba yung sanctification? Yung verb nito is sanctify. Alam niyo po ang ibig sabihin nito is to set aside for special purpose. For a holy purpose. Nung Tagalog po ng sanctification, ito po ay pinapaging banal. You see, yung term na saint, nanggaling po yan, dun sa sanctification, the one who is sanctified. 
So, ito yung mga tao na they are acted so as to give himself to fulfilling God's purpose. At ito po yung um, pinapaging banal. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, once we were justified, kumbaga pinatawad ka ni Lord sa kasalanan mo, we are in the process of sanctification. So yung ating pong series, remember nyo, katatapos lang yung series natin last two weeks, we call it Abide, and we know that Christian lives in the world, but is not to be of the world. So, ang ating pong buhay kristyano, yes, we are here on earth, meron tayong purpose, pero alam natin na ito po ay hindi natin talagang destinasyon. And the word consecrate means also the same thing as to sanctify. So, it is necessary for you and I to be sanctified in order to be pleasing to God. Before I read the Word of God, do we really honor God? Do we really please God sa buhay natin? Maybe some of us nadidisappoint kayo. Uh, Jerome, no matter how I tried, lagi pa rin ako nafe-fail. Nagkakasala pa rin ako. Bakit ganito? Kristiyano na ako pero may temptation. May pagsubok pa din. Bakit hindi ko, uh, hindi ko mapagtagumpayan yung area ng mga bisyo ko before? Na-overcome ko naman. Pero minsan, may dumarating na temptation. Natanong nyo na ba yun sa sarili nyo? Do we really honor God with our lives? 100%? Yung taga hindi ka nag-faith, everyday talaga, hoo-hoo! Alam mo yung feeling niya, kumaga sa 1 to 100, talagang hindi ka nagkakaroon ng kasalanan. Di ba? Ang hirap nun yung buhay kristyano na yun. So tonight, let me encourage you with the Word of God found in uh, Philippians chapter 2, 12 to 13, GNT version. So then, dear friends, as you always obeyed me when I was with you, it is even more important than you obey me now while I am away from you. Ito si Paul addressing the Philippian church. At sinabi niya, keep on working with fear and trembling to complete your salvation. Because God is always at work in you, to make you willing and able to obey His own purpose. Let us pray. Lord, we are so excited to listen to Your Word. <laughs> Holy Spirit, be with us tonight as we talk about Your holiness, Your sanctification. Be with us. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So we need to understand that the message of Philippians uh, 12, verses 12 to 13, is addressed to Christians. Hindi po ito sa mga hindi kristyano because uh, yung binalikan ko po yung Philippians chapter 1 verse 1. Ang sabi ni Paul, from Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ. So, nanggaling to sa leader and sinabi nila to all God's people in Philippi who are in union with Christ Jesus including the church leaders and helpers. So, ang audience po ni Paul ay mga leaders yung mga nakipag-isa na kay Kristo, yung may relasyon sa ating Panginoon. Kung kayo po ay may relasyon na sa ating Diyos, you accepted Jesus. At you know deep inside your heart na tinanggap mo na siya, you are in a relationship with God. Ikaw ito, type Amen if you are in a relationship with Jesus. So tayo po yung tinutukoy. Uh, yung audience ni Paul is for Christians, for all believers na sinasabi niya dito, keep on working with fear and trembling to complete your salvation. So, ang verse na ito, hindi ito describe na yung paano yung tao mapunta sa langit. Iba po yung context nito Because it is a call or command. Yung tao po lahat tayo to obey God's word. And this includes yung life of purity, yung uh, life of holiness, Tayo po yun. Kinokomit, uh, we, Paul is commissioning every believer to live a holy life because uh, kailangan natin magpasubmit sa ating Panginoong Jesus. You know what? God wants to be serious in our obedience. Yet, God is the one who really helps us to do all of this. Hindi niyo po kaya. Narinig niyo ba yung katang gusto mong bumait? Pero di mo magawa. Di ba, minsan mahirap eh. 
Kasi meron tayong flesh, may nasusunod pa rin yung sarili natin, emosyon natin. That is why we need God. And we need the Holy Spirit. Pag nahihirapan ka kapatid, meron kang pagsubok ngayon, meron kang weakness, meron kang kahinaan. You have to go to God and tap in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yun ang kailangan natin. Hindi mo kayang baguhin. Hindi ko kayang baguhin yung sarili ko. Because we need, we all need the power of the Holy Spirit. So, we should all by now that the Holy Spirit is working for us. Kaya tayo binabago, nababago dahil sa banal na Espiritu. And we all know that uh, ang salvation po natin is um, ours alone by faith through Jesus Christ alone. We know na ikaw ay ligtas kapag naniwala ka sa Panginoong Yesus. But There is no question that we cannot be saved by our own effort, no matter how, how we try to save ourselves. Because the finished work of Jesus on the cross, sapat-sapat na para makalaya ka, para magkaroon ka ng salvation. So, malinaw po sa atin na ang tinatawag po ni Paul din sa verse 12 na ito is the Philippian church. Ikaw to, may relasyon na sa Panginoon. Sabi niya to work, out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wag ko kayo makonfused ha? because sabi niyo teka teka. Sinabi natin but the our faith, 'di ba? Our, our salvation, 'di ba, is by faith in Jesus Christ, by grace alone so that no one uh, can boast. Ikaw ay ligtas because of God's grace. It's a gift of God. Yes, kasi yung yung context noon ay yung mga mang hindi pa nanin, wala pang relasyon sa Panginoong Yesus. Pero tayo, yung context na sinabi ni Paul, di ba, malino na sinabi ko kanina, verse 1, to all Philippian church, those who have um, in union with Jesus Christ, leaders and members. So, we are called by Paul to work for our salvation. Kung baga, uh, we are... We are, alam ko ah, linawin natin, we are not here to say na kaya natin ligtas sa sarili natin. No, we don't. We are not here to say na we justify ourselves. No, we don't. Only God can justify us. Only God can help us. At hindi rin natin pwede pagyabang na, you know what, gumabait ako kasi talaga nagbabasa ako to eh. Mabait talaga ako. No, we cannot justify, sanctify ourselves because it is only God who is working for us and in us, and He promised us that He will fulfill what He started on us. But first and foremost, starting point natin, alam nyo, yung pananampalataya natin sa Panginoong Jesus. Yun po yung first starting point of our salvation. And as we obey God, makikita po natin na God is working in us in the process of sa Sanctification. Sabi ko nga kanina, nararamdaman ko marami sa atin, nahihirapan tayo. Na one point of our life, siguro, parang kala natin, matatag na tayo, pero pag dumating yung pagsubok, makikita mo, pokmaro ka lang pala, Lord. Lord, ako po pokmaro, Lord. Parang dami ko pa pala, kala ko matatag ako. Naranasan nyo ba yun? Ang dami mong uh, pinagdaan ng weaknesses, problems, pero nakita mo na the more that we surrender to God, the more we, we admit that we are weak, the more we are strong in God. Hindi da, dahil sa iyong kakayahan, because of God's strength and favor in your life. So we are called to live holy lives. Ito po yung ating pong, uh, um, calling as a Christian. Dapat lumaka tayo na may kabanalan. Paano natin ito magagawa? By trusting His unchanging word and by abiding in His Word. Kasi pag hindi natin nabubuklat yung Bible, pag hindi natin nakikita kung ano ba yung sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon, nagiging karnal uli, parang bumabalik tayo sa, sa diskarte ko to Lord eh. Magiging mabait ako, magpapat, matatagumpay ako sa mga problema ko, sa patsubo ko. Lord, diskarte ko to ako muna. No, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. Kailangan natin yung kapangyarihan ng banan na Espiritu. And the sense in which we are to work out our salvation in fear, sabi doon na, matatako tayo kay Lord because of His holiness. When, because when we encounter Lord banal kayo, na parang a sinful man like me cannot stand a holy God. So that's why 
may holy fear tayo sa Panginoon. Yung Greek verb na ito, alam niyo yung work out? Interestingly, it means to continually work, to bring something to completion. So, we do this, paano natin, ano, parang ganito yun eh, gusto mo makarating ng bagyo? Saan ka sasakay? Sa bus, papuntang bagyo. Wala ka pa sa bagyo, pero dala mo na yung panglamig sa bagyo. Wala ka pa doon, pero you are in the process of making yourself available or nakikita mo na, imagine mo na nasa bagyo ka na. So, in sanctification is, we do this by actively pursuing obedience. You obey God's word, you please God, you want to honor God, you live a holy life in the process of sanctification. At mababasa po natin yung holiness, yung sanctification na yan. Even the Old Testament, ang ganda ng verse na to, share ko to sa inyo sa uh, Leviticus chapter 22 verses 31 to 33. It says here, So you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. And you shall not profane my holy name and that I may be sanctified. Ito gusto ni Lord. I may be sanctified among the people of Israel. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Who? Kita mo ha? Hindi ka nagiging mabait. Hindi ka nagiging natatransform. Because of who you are. Sabi ni Lord, I am the Lord who sanctifies you, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. That is the purpose para makita natin, makilala natin to know God and His holiness, His sanctification. We are here to abide in God's word. And the last sentence, sabi ni Lord, I am the Lord. You see? Ang ganda ng ted, uh, topic natin because as we know God, His holiness, di ba ba yung character niya, His promises. And for the next following Tuesday, we will get to know God in a deeper way. So, sabi po dito, that as we know God, we will be in awe in His holiness. Yung revelation, di ba, all the angels, all the people, di ba, pag nakita nila si Jesus in heaven, whoo, they will in awe, they will cry, amen, amen, di ba, the, the salvation belongs to our God. Ito po yung ibig sabihin ng ating salvation that, yes, we are saved because hindi na tayo sa impyerno. We'll uh, get eternal life. But also, salvation means we are free. Free from our sins, from the bondage of sin. We get eternal life, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Pero, we are also set free dun sa ating pong mga kasalanan sa mga bandage of sin, mga umaalipin sa ating kasalanan. So, family and friends, we acknowledge that God's grace is sufficient in every aspect of our life. Agree ba kayo? Si Lord, sapat-sapat na. That kaya, kaya mong pagdaanan ng lahat dahil sa biyaya, dahil sa kapangyarihan, at dahil sa tulong na banan na Espiritu. Type yes, if you are agreeing. Type amen, yes! God is sufficient. He's more than enough sa bawat area ng buhay ko ngayon. He's more than enough. But, ito naman yung gusto kong sabihin sa atin. May sanctification process. Ito po yung kailangan nating patahin yung ating mga sarili sa ating kasalanan, sa ating ginagawa. We should put death all sinful deeds of our body. The, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Mamaya po pagpapray natin, maybe some of us, meron kailangan tayong isubmit sa Panginoon. But yes, we are saved, but also we need to put death dun sa ating pong mga nature, human nature, kasalanan ng pag-iisip sa mga mata natin, makasalanan ng mata sa ating pride. Then, we, when we are confronted with um, pa life's trials, burdens, and tri- uh, temptation, no, we need to work out in the power of the Holy Spirit. Kailangan natin, bala na Espiritu. Nanghihina ka ngayon, lapit ka lang sa bala na Espiritu. And also, we need to look to Jesus. Looking, fix our eyes to Jesus. At araw-araw, mahirap ba ng pagdadaanan natin? Ano pa ngayon? Um, February pa lang. <laughs> Ang dami pa natin pagdadaanan for the whole 2022. But, as we abide in God's Word, we know nakasakasama natin ang ating Panginoon sa lahaban ng buhay. Amen? Yes, 
We are to work out our salvation in our own lives. Paano natin ito ma-work out? Simple lang. By living our life for the Lord Jesus. Sa pagising mo, Jesus, I offer this day to you. Bukas Wednesday, di ba? Um, attend kayo ha, sa ating midweek service. All areas of your life, lagi mong isipin, Lord, I live for you. I want to honor you, Lord God. But as I end our short um, prayer meeting tonight, tanong ko lang, kumusta ba yung relasyon mo sa bahay? Kumusta ba yung relasyon mo sa iyong katrabaho? How is your relationship with other believers? Yung mga kaibigan mo sa college, sa tingin mo ba? Na-honor si Lord sa buhay mo ngayon, nakikita ng mga tao sa paligid mo na meron kang Diyos. Nakikita yung pagbabago na mabait ka ngayon kaysa na nakilala ka nila. May transformation. Yun yung fruit na kailangan makita po sa atin as Christians. Hindi po ikaw at ako magsasabi niyan, but all the people around us. You know what? If God had saved you, God has saved us, kailangan po nating sundin kung ano po yung example ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Nagsakripisyo siya sa krus. Pinakita niya pagmamahal niya sa krus. So, ang ating pong kailangan gawin, we have to work out our salvation by dying to ourselves. Hindi ka na kasi nabubuhay ngayon. Sabi doon, no, I am no longer lives. Di ba? But I live in the, in the Son of God who loves me and gave Himself for me. Ikaw ay patay na sa kasalanan at buhay ka na sa Espiritu ng Diyos. Kailangan nating mamatay sa ating sarili and by loving others for Jesus' sake. Church, this is the amazing attribute of God. He is holy and we are not. But we are still in the process of sanctification. Moment by moment, binabago ni Lord yung puso't isipan natin because our Father is holy so that we must be holy. We cannot do this apart from the power of the Holy Spirit. At pag hindi tayo nagsasabit, hindi tayo nag-obey, hindi tayo nag abide sa Word of God. Because left to ourselves, nahirapan tayo. That is why today and tonight, we will check our hearts as we pray. Join me as we pray together. Let's humble ourselves before our God. And just say, Lord, here I, here I am. Search our hearts, O God. Lord, kung may nakikita po, ka, po kayo na karumihan, maybe some of us, meron po kami idols pa sa puso namin, priority, na mas mahigit at mas maiportante kesa sa'yo, Lord. Lord, cleanse us. Lord, purify us. Sanctify our hearts, Lord God. Alisin mo, Panginoon, lahat ng distractions. Lahat, Lord God, ng mga lies of the enemies. Lord, sa yung process na ito, yung sanctification, Lord God, we are justified by grace. That is why we are being sanctified because we are justified. And Lord, we are here because gusto po namin isubmit yung aming mga puso, yung aming mga buhay, yung aming mga katawan. We want to follow Jesus no matter what it takes, Lord God. We will deny ourselves. We are no longer, Lord, the master of our bodies, of our minds, but our Lord Jesus Christ is our Savior, our Master, our Lord. He's the captain of the sheep. Lord, we pray that as we follow Jesus, we become holy, we become set apart from serving God. Holy Spirit, we pray that you sanctify our hearts that we will love you. We will love what you will love and do what you desire for us. Lord, sinabi mo po sa iyong salita that we are your masterpiece, that we are uh, God's workmanship. You are, we are created, Lord God, in the beginning, predestined to do good works. Lord, we want to be fruitful. Makita, Lord God, sa buhay namin that we are being sanctified. We produce good fruits, Lord God, good deeds, so that every people around us will be amazed. We glorify you through our lives. Lord, we pray this because as you said in your word, God is always at work in us. We are not alone. Sa ano man namin na pagdadaanan ngayon, kung ano man po aming pong mga kahinaan ngayon, 
you are always at work in us to make us willing and to able to obey God's own purpose. Lord, here we are. We are submitting our hearts to you, our thoughts to you, our bodies to you. We are here, Lord God, for your own purpose, being set apart, holy, Lord God, for a special purpose. And that is to do good works, Lord God, to glorify your name, not to boast our names, Lord God. Lord, in the end, at the end of the day, Lord God, nais po namin, ibalik lahat sa iyong papuri, lahat sa iyong pa, lahat ng karangalan, dahil karapat dapat ka sa amin, papuri at pagsamba. Maraming maraming salamat po. Church, why don't we do this? Let's remember God once again, kung ano yung mga kabutihan niya, kung ano po yung na-reveal sa atin while listening to God's word, and let's worship God once again before we end our evening devotion. everyone for joining us today. We hope to see you again next Tuesday. Invite and tag your family and friends. Receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you everyone. And see you in our on-site and online services.